Hey guys. Uh, battery's going dead. Um, boy, I am just exhausted. It's uh, 12 at night, and uh, oh, wife is sleeping, kids are sleeping, so I just thought I'd come down here and work for, you know, maybe a half hour or so, but um, I'm trying to think where we last left off. Um, well, I, I cut these, okay, so, you know, I put that that angle iron up here, chopped it straight up and down, okay, um, perpendicular to the line of the airplane. Um, you can see it's setting on here. Now, I made one mistake I'll just make you aware of. You remember that original line I wrote? Well, there was something sitting on this string, okay, and it threw me off, so that was a mistake. I caught it and then I had to remark it. You can see that's a pretty strong, that's damn near a quarter inch. Um, those kind of mistakes happen, so you gotta really watch yourself. They happen to everybody. Um, but I but I caught it. So let's see. Well, I marked the center of this engine mount. It's now lined up here. This is just floating here, okay? So where are we at? You know, we know we know that this was leveled in both directions both this way and this way. So that, you know, I always believe in getting 90% of the way. You know, do what you can to get that 90%. And that last 10%, pretty easy stuff. It's just a matter of fine tuning. So you want to create an environment where you eliminate some of the variables. By building this here, I eliminated a lot of variables. I'm able to use gravity. It just sits here, right? I put this board on. That, that really really helped and you can see how it helped because when I stand like this you can just see it, it's lined up really close to where I need to be I go over on this side and it's really close to where I need to be okay now this I put a level on a torpedo level it's it's on the money okay this right here I leveled straight up and down on the money um, now you can see though, if I were to kind of crouch down here, okay, now take a look at that. You can see that this here is lower than it needs to be. It needs to go up. They both do on both sides, okay? And that's where this board is kind of handy because if I were to take and lift a little bit, see, that's all I got to do is lift and we can correct that, okay? So if I go underneath here, you can see it's kind of a wedge shape, so I'm just going to go on my miter box and cut a wedge. I'm just going to kind of guess at the angle. And I'm going to start, maybe, maybe I don't know, maybe I'll cut two or three of them. And just start gently putting a little pressure on that. Okay, once i got some pressure on it, I can come back to these fittings here, okay, and heat them up. And just gently pushing on those wedges will bring this up right where I need to be. Okay. So, as it sits now, it's not bad. You can see if I push this up, right, all i got to do is a little bit of coping in here. I can take my, my ink pen, and I can just kind of draw a little bit, gently work it on both sides, back and forth, and just kind of kind of work that piece in, staying perpendicular, okay, or, or plumb. Um, you can see it land on my string. I know it's not easy on this video, but... The string is dead center of that V, right where it's supposed to be. So, you know, it's looking pretty good. Um, you know, like I say, it's just gravity that's holding it. You know, it's just sort of sitting there. But I tell you, for only building a jig and just setting it on there, chopping those things with a piece of angle iron, boy, that really lined up nice. So, the hard work was really quite easy just by uh, building the right jig. You know, now if I had to mount this on a piece of plywood or something, which is definitely a way to do it, and build a structure out here and kind of hold it, you know, that's probably an okay way to do it. But uh, this is pretty quick. This J here took me, you know, maybe five minutes. Um, this plywood here took me no time. I just grabbed a piece and chucked it up there. So that's kind of where I'm at. Now, the one thing I did not measure, and I, I do need to take care of, is where I sit as far as this side to the airplane, this side of the airplane. In other words, 
this direction, right? Because I can still be crooked this way and be level here. I can be crooked this way and still be level across here, you see? So level and plumb does not mean that it's straight. So I'm not sure how I'm going to attack that. I think I might just find one of these lines. See, I burnt that up pretty bad. There's a line right here. You can just see it. I might throw some blocks up and create some device where I can measure across, you know. I'll, I'll think of something this evening. But uh, let me try to step back. You can kind of see that legal eagle look coming together. You can see how that nose is working out, right? Now remember, there's a piece that goes at an angle here. Okay, I got to think of that because once this piece goes in from here to here, it encapsulates this piece, and I have a really good joint. You want to think that through. You want to think how you know how you're going to get that in, and then put this one in, and then put the top one in. And at that point, we can tear this thing apart, and. Uh, do a little more welding, get this thing kind of wrapped up.